What if I told you that this animation, this one, and even this one were all made with just a single view directive? Well, in this quick video, we're going to be taking a look at Auto Animate, a zero config animation utility that adds really smooth transitions to your app. It works with any JavaScript application, but it has great first party support for view. So let's go ahead and install it. And then we can install it globally in our view app to register a directive called v auto animate we also have the option to import it locally by importing v auto animate and this was helpful for me because the learn view demo site runs on astro so i don't have a global view instance but no matter how we set it up it's really easy to animate things so what exactly can be animated essentially auto animate is a function it accepts a parent element and then triggers animation on the parent and its media children on three different events when a child element gets added to the dom removed from the dom or moved in the DOM. So let's say that we want to have a collapsible section with a heading and a details paragraph and clicking it will toggle the visibility of this paragraph. The element changing is our paragraph and its parent is our wrapper div. So if we add V auto animate to the wrapper div, we already have a really nice effect. If you've tried to build this in CSS and or JavaScript, you know how messy you can get when dealing with animating heights, but V auto animate covers all of that out of the box. If you don't want to globally install a directive, it also has a composable usage. So let's import use auto animate. And when we call it, it returns a template ref that we can bind onto our wrapper element. And we still get the same animation effect. Although the primary use case for auto animate is to give you smooth animations out of the box, there's still a few ways to customize it, like specifying some options on the directive. Or if you want full customization, you can do this through plugins, which kind of serve as an escape hatch if you want to override what's happening by default. So I really wanted to get this on your radar. I think it's super smooth to use. And honestly, it works a lot better than I expected for a drop in utility. And if you like the DX of auto animate, the same dev team is also creating FormKit, which was previously Vue Formulate. It's a pretty sick way to make Vue 3 form so i thought i'd throw it out there if you're interested oh and one more thing if you like quick videos like this view school is having a free weekend this weekend so you can browse their entire catalog for free so if you want to save your spot now click the link down in the description but thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video